Hey gang, Carlo Wine here. Uh, customer engine number 118, Jason Conyers. It's a 383, it's for a turbo F body. Uh, this is going to be a slideshow to document the engine build process. Starting from scratch here, I've, the block, back to the block. It's already been prepped by me. Sorry for the, uh, already been prepped. It has not been painted yet. It's going to get painted a Chevy orange later. But a few of the things I do for a prep is I do a little bit of a relief right there so that because most gaskets block the head return right there. And then that allows, here, like a chromatic gasket here. Check this out. Put a chromatic gasket up here. And that would have been blocked if I had not made a relief for that. Some surface, while the block has been sitting, it's not, uh, you know, it's been sitting about six months, air-conditioned and heated shop. And um, sometimes there'll be a little bit of surface rust. There was a little bit here, and there's a little bit in the cylinders here. Um... Darn. Trust me, there's a little bit somewhere. Um, and so that gets basically a 2,000 grit sandpaper here. A little bit there. And basically that has no effect on ring seal. And it's basically, if you don't get your block straight from the machine shop and, and assembled, there's going to be a little bit of... I guess, um, cosmetic. And as long as it's not a lot of rust, it'll be, it'll be fine. The, of course, it's going to get painted here. So I knock off the, uh, sharp edges here and smooth things a little bit, smooth, smooth these oil returns, do a little hone on the, lifter galleys, I thread the oil passages there for plugs, the cam one there, lifter ones, thread those, and basically then give it a good cleaning. Um, also make sure that there's what I think is, is by eye, the right amount of, of uh, rod clearancing. You do have to do it here, inboard for the rod shoulder and here for the at the rod bolt area and hopefully this will this is going to work this is a 3.75 inch stroke it's a 383 so it, the rotating assembly as the next step will get mocked up and put in there and I'll, and hopefully the rods will not bump there'll be enough so i'm not going to put cam bearings in until i know that everything clears. If I put cam bearings ahead of time and I need to, uh, let's say, find out that I need to do more clearancing, well, the cam bearings gotta come out and I gotta waste a set of cam bearings. So that'll be the next step. Carlo Wine, L Wine Engines, take care.